So this video is all about connecting your WordPress website with Tumblr such that you can share the link of the blogs that you have been posting on your WordPress website with your Tumblr audience. Alright, so that you can uh, uh, market your blogs with your Tumblr account, right? So we are going to do this with the help of an automation that we are about to set up. Now let me show you how this is going to work. So this will be the flow of the automation. Here as in when you post on you publish a new blog on WordPress website, the link along with some details of that same blog will be created as a new post from your Tumblr account. So here you don't have to do anything manually. You don't have to copy the data of your blog manually and create a post every time you create a new blog on WordPress. So it will surely save a huge amount of time of yours in copy pasting the data. And to make this automation happen, we are using Pavly Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is you can set up this automation in very few easy steps without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So the first step guys to set up this automation is to log in into your Pavly Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pavly Connect. So to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pavly Connect account in just two minutes and it will give you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So after uh, setting up your account, log in and reach here. And here you have to set up this automation by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, just click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to this workflow. So I'm giving the name here as word press to tumblr automation all right now click on create here <clears throat> and you can see the your workflow uh, created here with and here on this page you will find this trigger and the action so the Automation is going to work on these two things. So the trigger is the happening of that event which is going to start or trigger this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. So as in our use case, the trigger would be a new blog created on your WordPress website and the action or the response towards the trigger would be to share that same blog from your Tumblr account, right? So you have to choose your trigger application first, which is WordPress in our case search here wordpress select it and in the trigger event select a uh, new post published option so you will find new post publish option here click on it and it will give you this url so this is called as a webhook url guys and it is used it is used to fetch the data um, uh, from any external application to here in public connect so with the help of these instructions written here you can uh, create this connection so let me show you how you can do this so first of all just copy this webhook URL from here and as you can read here you need to uh, install a plugin in WordPress which is called WP webhooks so I am going to my WordPress dashboard this is it and here you can see I have the plugin section here on the left hand side panel here it is so from here click on add new and here in this search bar, you have to search for WP Webhooks. And you have to install this WP Webhooks plugin, this one here, right? So after installing this, uh, you have to activate this and you can see it is already activated in my account. So I need not to install it again. After installing this uh, 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 plugin here, you have to click on the settings which you will find here on the left hand side panel click on settings and under the settings page you will find uh, let's write WP webhooks uh, option so search for so scroll down here so here under the settings on the left hand side panel you will find this WP webhooks plugin available click on it all right and on this page, you have to click on send data. And here in this send data, let's read the instructions again. You have to select 
post created option from the left hand sidebar all right so here you will find post created option which is this click on it and under this post created section you have to click on this add webhook url button and here you have to give a name to this new webhook url that you are adding here so i am giving the name as tumblr tumblr1 right and here in this field in the webhook url field you have to paste the co copied webhook url that you have copied from your workflow paste it here in this webhook url field then click on add for post create right and you can see a new webhook url is added here you will find it here tumblr1 so you will find this added webhook url here and here you have to click on settings all right and here uh, read the instructions you have to select post from trigger on selected post types so here you can see trigger on selected post type is here from here select post all right and uh, published in the trigger on initial post status change section so here you have to select published right and after that just click on save settings right and you can see the settings are saved here and we have added a new webhook url successfully like this and you can see here as you have copied the webhook url it started showing this waiting for the webhook's response so this means now you have to do a test submission or you have to create a test blog inside your wordpress website and we are going to capture the data of that same blog here and with the help of that data we are going to move forward to set up this automation right so I'm going to uh, click here now in the WordPress uh, um, dashboard, I'm going to click on post section and from here I'm going to click on add new and I'm going to create a new demo post or a test post here or a blog here. So let me fill these uh, things inside the blog. So I have created a blog here on a book review of this book, Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind. And here I have written a short review on this. And I have set a featured image of this blog here like this. All right. Now I'm going to publish this blog post from here. I'm clicking on publish. And you can see the blog is getting published here. And as I publish this blog, it is going to trigger uh, the workflow and we will capture the response of this test blog in our workflow. Let's check. You can see the blog is published. Now let's check in uh, our workflow if we got the data. And here you can see in this response received section, we got the data as this. So here you can see the post's content, the post title and the post name and all other things also related to the post the link, the thumbnails link and the post permalink as well, right? Now I want to share this blog post on my Tumblr account. So for that to happen, you have to select your Tumblr application as the action application here. So search for Tumblr. And here in this action events, you have to select create link post option, then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection Then click on connect with Tumblr. And from here, uh, it will bring you to the login window if you're not logged in. As I have already logged in in Tumblr, it is just asking me for a few access. So just click on allow and you will be connected with Tumblr. Right. And here it is asking to select the blog in which you want to uh, post this uh, thing. So I have a blog here in my Tumblr account uh, with the name as Pavli blog. Right. So here I want to share this blog created on WordPress. So from here, select the blog. Now it is asking for the link title, the link, the description and all the things. So I'm going to map the data from the first step where we have captured the uh, details of a demo or a test blog that I have created on WordPress. So to map the things here, you just have to click here and you will find this WordPress step in the drop down. And from here, you can get the link title as this. So map this link title or the post title here in the link. I'm going to use the permanent link that we have received from where our users, Tumblr users can reach to our WordPress blog. So this is the permanent link map it. 
in this description i am going to uh, tell my people that hey people check out our new blog right and here i am going in the thumbnail i am going to map this image link that we have got here so you will find the thumbnail link as well uh, here is the thumbnail link uh, if you want to write some excerpt you can write excerpt right now i am leaving this tags and these things blank these are not compulsory things and native inline images yes you can make it yes so that it will convert any image url to tumblr image url right and in the state you have to make it published so to get it published automatically on tumblr right now you can check your connection with your tumblr account by clicking on save and send test request and a new post will be created uh, according to the data that we have mapped here so i'm clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens and this is the state uh, this is the response we got now let me show you in tumblr i'm refreshing my tumblr accounts page and here you can see we got a new uh, post created here with this description check out our new blog and you can read the title which is the same and by clicking on it you will reach uh, the wordpress website of mine uh, where you can see the whole blog right here so this is how it is going to work in real time guys and we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once by connecting wordpress in the trigger making this connection and fetching the test blog here after that in the action step you have to connect the tumblr then you have to map this data like this so when you map the data like this what will happen whenever you create a new post these things are going to change and a new post will be created here in tumblr account right so after setting up this automation you need not to do anything manually after that you just have to create a blog here in your wordpress and you will get uh, post created in tumblr like this and the good part is you can use this same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel